Hello everyone, this is Sojan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to see how to build an heartbeat monitoring sensor using Node MCU and MAX30100 sensor. So, let's get started. This heart rate monitoring sensor can monitor the heart rate and also the oxygen level of your body. We will divide this project into three main parts. Step 1 is displaying the output in the serial monitor. Step 2 displaying the output in the OLED display. And step 3 displaying the output in the Blink application. The components required are Node MCU. MA30100 sensor, OLED display, and some jumper wires. Step 1 Serial monitor display. Connection has been done as per the circuit diagram. Connect 3 volt of the Node MCU to the VN of the MAX30100. Now connect ground of the Node MCU to the ground of the MAX30100 sensor. Connect D1 of the node MCU to the SCL of MAX30100 and D2 of node MCU to SDA of MAX30100. Now place your fingers on the sensors and we have obtained the results. Step 2 Using OLED Display In this step, the additional component is the OLED display. Connect VN of the MAX30100 to VDD of OLED display and 3 volts of the Node MCU. In the same way, connect all the ground that is ground of MAX30100 to ground of display 
to the ground of node mcu SDA of Max to D2 of Node and SDA of OLED. SCL of Max to D1 of Node MCU and SCK of OLED. Connect INT of MAX to D0. Now the project is ready, but the wire management is not so good. project is working super well. The good idea for wire management is place it in any small box as I have done in the video. Step 3 using blink application. Well, we have finally arrived at the last part of this video. Click on new project, give the project name, select ESP8266 board. First, Add two GOS and add two value display. One will show you the BPM and another will show you the oxygen. Select virtual pin 7. Set the value from 0 to 130 and you can also change the color. Same procedure for BPM in value display. Set the V voltage pin to 7 and number from 0 to 130. Name one more gauge as oxygen. Select V8 pin and select values from 0 to 100. And set the delay to 1 second. Same procedure to value added display. Now open the code. First enter your Wi-Fi name and password and the token code which you have received in the mail from Blink. And finally the project is ready. Now we can observe the output in both Blink as well as in a OLED display.
that's all was for today's video hope you like this video if you like this video do consider to hitting the like and subscribe button and also share with your friends so we'll meet in the next video until then stay healthy stay fit and stay safe thank you